Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman and I'm just making this video for the users of free accounting software to show you guys how to add a superannuation salary sacrifice in free accounting software. Now, um, just created this pay slip and uh, um, the employee is getting $1,000 in all time. Let's say they're getting a salary of $1,000 a week and therefore they get the $95 superannuation. Now, let's say this is your own company and and you're paying yourself this salary uh, and then one day you just decide I'd like to put a bit of extra super in. Just going to add the super to my current salary. You could go and click this add super or fringe benefit line. Um, select super employer additional and let's say you wanted to pay yourself an extra hundred just put in a hundred now that's all you need to do okay and um, you will have um, paid yourself the extra hundred dollars super so uh, down the bottom here in the info that gets reported to the ATO is the um, um, reportable super contribution which is uh, which is 200 because I've pressed another pay slip for this employee okay so if this is your own company and your own pay slip then I think this is all you need to do certainly the way the rules currently stand that's all you need to do okay however if this is a arm's length employee and they've come to you and said I'd like to um, sacrifice $100 for superannuation, you will need to reduce their pay by um, $100. Now, um, that's not quite as easy as it sounds because if you just put 900 into their salary, it um, Yes, it does reduce their pay by 100, but it also reduces this uh, employer compulsory super to 85.5 because you don't get compulsory or SGC super on top of this super salary sacrifice amount. Now, that's actually that's not entirely true. Some awards say you do get it on your pre-salary sacrifice amount. Um, and there is some um, legislation before um, Parliament to, to change things. So let's just have a quick look at some ATA references on this. So this this is a page on the ATO, and I'll put the link in the in the description to this video um, about super salary sacrifice. So super guarantee is based on the reduced salary. So the minimum amount of super you're required to pay is based on ordinary time earnings. A salary sacrifice arrangement reduces your employee's ordinary time earnings. Okay, and it will reduce the amount of super guarantee you're required to pay. Um, I have have seen that some awards uh, um, um, or, or read somewhere that some awards are um, specifying that you do need to pay the SGC super based on the pre-salary sacrifice salary okay um, but look that's an ATA reference on it um, there's another thing here about um, um, salary sacrifice amount counting towards the super guarantee and, and and that seems to me to be incredibly dodgy to to use that in that way um, so don't go there um, here's a reference on the legislation that's um, um, and this is from the ATA website as well and I'll put the link in the description um, legislation to prevent employers using the employee salary sacrifice amount to reduce their minimum super guarantee is currently before Parliament so you are well they are trying to change it so that you you can't 
you don't reduce the super guarantee contribution for um, for that salary sacrifice. Now that's been before Parliament since September 2017 um, by this um, reference here. So a bit strange for it to be taking that long. You'd think for something pretty obvious. Anyway, the way it's generally done, and I've talked to some people at the ATO, the way it's, you know, in, it, it's sensible, common sense to do it this way too, is you don't want to rip off the employee that bit of extra SGC just because they wanted to do a salary sacrifice. Okay? So, you keep this amount at $1,000, Therefore, their um, salary or the SGC super stays at 95, and add a line. I've set up this um, additional earnings or account here called superannuation salary sacrifice, and against that, I'll put a minus 100. Now this superannuation salary sacrifice um, account is set up to have um, uh, be taxable, yes, so it, it has the same tax code as normal time, and it's a negative, so it does reduce their taxable pay, okay. Uh, it's set up with apply super, no. So, um, super applies on this normal time um, applying super is set to false on the minus 100 meaning that the employee gets super on the 1000 so down here they're still getting their 95 um, dollars super okay and that is the way I've been told in my discussions with the ATO that the uh, majority of employers do it they're okay with it being done this way and, and this is the way that the legislation will um, eventually force people to do it, okay? Um, so I would suggest doing it that way. Um, I did have a little bit of a question mark in my head to be honest about how can the minimum amount of super guarantee that you require well, if that minimum is reduced by the salary sacrifice, then um, and you're paying more than that, surely it's not the compulsory SGC. So you know, if if you if you're if if the minimum you're trying to you're you're allowed to contribute is 85, how can you be compul compulsorily um, contributing 95. Surely you're only compulsory, compulsorily contributing 85. But anyway, I, I did speak to the ATO and they said this is the way everyone's doing it and and um, they're okay with this. Okay, so just a quick look at the, I'll save that pay slip, but just a quick look at the setup of that super salary sacrifice account just going into the account here um, it's set up as an expense account apply super as I said is false and the tax code that it's got is gross taxable pay um, this used to be called if you've seen some of the other videos pay as you go withholding taxable I changed the name to gross taxable pay and that's the same as the normal time um, set up okay so um, that's um, how you do a super salary sacrifice in free accounting software I hope this video has been useful